What's up guys, my name is Carney Hobo. Hopefully having a beautiful day today. Today I am here to bring you another National Pokeball League <laughs> video. Um it's gonna be week two versus the Tokyo Tyranitars, coached by its gator, and um this match was a doozy on me. I'm going to tell you right now, this match was a doozy on me, but, uh, uh you know, you're, you guys are going to see what's going on. Um, but let's just get right into the team builder. So my team builder is going to be uh, a mm, chipped Femon match. Uh, me, I, I went to um, my man Maddie this week, and I was like, Maddie, help me out, man, because, like, I don't, I don't know his playing style. Um, cause I'm playing Gator this week, as I've already said, and I really don't know his playing style. Um, I don't know if he likes to run Pokemon, if he likes running more offensive teams, you know. Looking at my team, both ways worked, and I was just, I, I, I literally didn't know what to do. So I went over to my boy, Matty Brolic, and, uh, you know, he helped me out with some of these mods. I originally had a team that I personally enjoyed, but, um, <laughs> uh, obviously it didn't go too far. So I was like, alright. All right, cool. Um, we'll change up the team a little bit. So, but the theme of the team is gonna be chips, and I hope you guys do enjoy. <laughs> this is gonna be a very, very short video. So, yeah, that's that's gonna sum up how badly I played. So here we go. <clears throat> so our first mod's gonna be uh, Nehelego Our Doritos, which has the Grass DMZ and the Grass Not Stealth Rocks. Hidden Power Ground and Sludge Wave. Sludge Wave is just my stab move. I literally thought, oh well, this thing doesn't really touch Serena a lot. So I, I was like, well, I might as well put Sludge Wave on because it touches everything but Mega Pinsir then. <laughs> so, that's my bad. Um, I have the Grass Z because of Hippo. He has a Hippo on, on, so, you know, I can pop Grass Z Hippo. That's enough uh, special attack to do like 90% to a Hippo, so it's like really good. And then, um, Rest is in bulk, so I can live uh, quick attacks and returns from the, uh, what you call it? The Mega Pincer that he had, potentially adds. Now, here is a mon that uh, <laughs> is light as a feather. It's Laze, uh, our Mega Aggron here, carrying Avalanche, Rest Talk, Earthquake. And uh, basically, the whole set of this is basically, he can't really touch Mega Aggron. I mean, Mega Aggron, um, needs to be healthy in this matchup, but Mega Aggron can put in a lot of the work, with, especially with the set uh, being Avalanche and then Earthquake, uh, Rest Talk. It's really good. Um, since I'm going to be slower than everything, like Avalanche just makes sense. Uh, rest Talk, just so I can, you know, live. Originally, I believe I had, like, Rocks, um, Fire Punch on it, so I can, you know, whittle down the zone. But uh, Maddie said, "Yeah, let's let's try rest talk because we. I mean, I do need to keep this thing healthy. I originally had wish passing puzzle, which would have been nice to see, but uh, it, it's whatever. Next mon is gonna be our salt vest iron fist uh, clunk elder, as I like running salt vest clunk elder a lot. I think it's just I don't know. I don't think it's its best set, but it's definitely one of its better sets. Um, and uh, yeah, basically knock off plus three punches, ice punch is just there to uh, potentially." get the um switch in or potentially get the ice punch kill on um like if I if I can predict a Salamence to come in, I go for ice punch a kill, you know. If I go predict the, you know, things to come in I can knock off, you know, freely. So that's basically what uh the Tito's is gonna be for. But next thing we have is Cheetos. Cheetos is our um Hydra Rigan this week with the choice scarf. Uh just uh tax curve Choice scarf, yeah, yeah, that stuff. Our next mod is going to be Pringles, our uh, Starmie, which actually hits pretty his team pretty hard with the Hydro Pump, uh, Ice Beam, Rapid Spin, and Recover, just to you know cover off that Life Orb damage. And we're carrying Analytic because I want to catch people on Switch, and so like just that that's literally what I want to go for. And last but not least, we're doing Ruffles, our Tapu Bulu, Tapu Bulu finally being brought to Week Two, and um. With the Cobra Berry Grassy Surge as its ability with uh, basically double grass stabs. So just in case if, um, you know, I need to... Okay, so basically my mindset carrying double grass was basically... So 
one hammer basically kind of guarantees kill things, but if I can get a kill with Horn Leech, I'd rather have the recovery um, instead of losing a lot of health. So that's what we go with the Horn Leech for. Um, Rock Slide is just there for <laughs> the Mega Pinsir, which hopefully I can hit. And then Superpower is there for uh, Heatran. I have enough speed with my <clears throat> Tapu Bulu to outspeed no speed Heatran. I have enough bulk on my Tapu Bulu. Uh, so I can live a plus two return um, from nearly max with the Cobra Berry, and then enough attack to kill Mega Pinsir and others with uh, my massive attack stat. So yeah, that's going to be the team builder. I hope you guys do enjoy the match. Um, it's going to be short and sweet. So yeah, let's just hop right into the match. All right, so uh, we're here with the match and. Um, I don't know why my logo is not showing up in the, in the replay, but I do have a custom logo, which is nice. Um, but, oh well, it's not going to show up, I guess, because pickles, I don't know. But uh, I'm also going to be showing you guys the chat so you guys can see what we have um, for, like, emote and stuff. And, um, basically, oh shoot, uh, off, switch sides, off, reset, there we go. <laughs> Alright, so now everything's perfect. Um, so, he brought things that I didn't really predict him to bring, like the uh, Alolan Persian and the Pikimuku, but everything else was pretty much common. Um, I'm going to lead off with my Mega Aggron, because literally leading off Mega Aggron and maybe him just wanting to whittle me down, or me just going for Avalanche first turn, um, so when he goes to trap my trap me with the Mag Zone, it'll be alright. So. Basically, I'm going to lead off the Mega Aggron. As, like I said, I'm going to go for the Mega Evolution. I'm going to go for the um, Avalanche the first turn. The reason why I did this was uh, it, it was just definitely because I needed to either pop the Balloon, uh, if he had the Balloon, or if he was Choice in some faction, um, I, could, I would be able to see either Choice Scarf, I would be able to see Choice Bex damage from this range. So, I... I you know, to go for Avalanche first turn, making very aggressive plays. As he goes for Magnet Rise here, as I'm just going to go for EQ, which is like, okay, I see you. And then he gets a crit. And the crit on the <laughs> Mega Aggron really does suck. It really does suck. Um, it's not game breaking, because uh, eventually he does, I mean, he does 3 hit KO, even without a crit. And, you know, uh, basically the whole process of me was like, okay, cool. But, um,. <laughs> He does 3 KO, which is the thing, but um, later on you, you'll see why I really wanted <laughs> to live, but uh, so it's whatever. Uh, he's going to go straight in for the thing, and I'm going to go straight in for my thing, and then, you know, my avatar is just changing all over the place, I don't know why. So, out comes, <laughs> out comes my Hydra, and I go for the Draco, just trying to get damage on something, out comes Pikamuku. I know he's going to Baton Pass out, so I really want him to Baton Pass out into his... A Magnezong, so that's why I make the aggressive play and go in Pringles. Now, if I was able to get off another Avalanche on this man, um, you know, um, from the range that he's at right now, um, now knowing that he's max HP, uh, before I didn't think it was max HP, even though I should have looked at the calcs, um, I thought I was literally just getting a high roll. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought I was getting a low roll, excuse me. So, um, I was like, okay, cool, he's probably not a max HP then, yada, 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 I was, I was going, through my head, going through my head at turn 7, so I'm going to go for the straight for the Hydro Pump here, um, because if I got another Avalanche onto the sink, Hydro Pump would a guaranteed kill, but uh, sadly, <laughs> sadly, that's not going to happen, so <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to drop to the, uh, the zone here. And, uh, yeah. So, out comes Mega Pinsir, and I'm like, okay, cool, 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 cool. I'm gonna go for Papa Yui here, uh, as, you know, I'm gonna go into Head Lego. I'm gonna try to bluff Scarf. Like, that that was that was me right here. Uh, going into Head Lego here was just me trying to say, look, I'm Scarfed. I, I'm, I'm Scarfed, and I will kill you, as, uh, literally, it wasn't that. But, um, he goes for the EQ there, and out comes Tapu Bulu, and I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. I can still potentially win this game. Well, I mean, at least I can, like, lose in dignity uh, with, like, a very, very uh, low, very high um, thing. But what happens here is just, it shocks me because, you know, I'm a grass-type whisperer, and I'm just, I, I'm, I'm saying, well, GG, you know, I eat up the Cobra Berry. I go for the Rock Slide, and I miss, okay? You know, <laughs> this, 
uh, that that hurt me a lot, honestly. As you know, a grass type missing, you know, it, it just it, it sucks. It really does suck. <laughs> I mean, honestly, <laughs> I'm like quite sad that my Bulu missed. Why Bulu? Why? I just I don't know. I don't know why Bulu Bulu Tapu Bulu. I don't I don't know why. Why does Bulu do this to me? It just it makes me sad. It really does. But um. So I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna pass away. And um, out comes there's Cheetos, and Cheetos doesn't even pick up a kill. Guys, I, I don't know. I don't know. This, this thing is just wrecking my team right now. And, and then I know he has quick attack, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go for the Bok punch. Uh, luckily, Gator lets me kill <laughs> one Mon. As now I'm at max HP, but I'm not able to take a supersonic fly. Uh, Sky Strike Fly, which crits, by the way, <laughs> and kills me. Um, so, so far, both my matches so far, I I do have a recurring pattern going on, and it's probably it's, it's a little it's a wee bit towards the hacks coming to me. I'm not that salty as I was like maybe two days ago, <laughs> but basically, if you look at the Joel. In the match I had versus Jolt, I got critted with um, Drain Punch. On the well, my Hydra Dragon got critted by a uh, Drain Punch, and then last but not least, the Bullet Punch crit <laughs> towards the end killed uh, my Nilahego, which is whatever. I, I don't mind. Um, but overall, though, I mean, there's I, I'm seeing a pattern, and I'm really not. I don't know, I'm not enjoying myself in the league right now at the moment. And that's just probably because I'm losing. And I'm losing big time. I'm not losing, you know, small matches. I'm losing big matches. Uh, you know, I'm not losing like 1 0, 2 0. I'm like, I'm cool with that. But uh, I'm losing like 4 0, 5 0, as you can see right here. As um, I'm really not enjoying the league at the moment. But we are still going to just keep on going through. Uh, hopefully, we can bounce back. Week 3, we do fight Merc. And I'm going to be a little bit busy. Um, so, I'm, gonna pro I'm, ask I'm asking him basically if we can uh, play earlier. Hopefully, he uh, allows us to play earlier, but uh, if not, I might have to forfeit it. <laughs> I don't know for sure. Uh, he's going to have some trades on his side, so I'm, I'm not going to make any trades. Because uh, I want to see the team that I originally drafted get some wins, get some kills. Because <laughs> right now, my team's looking pretty bad. <laughs> And yeah, so guys, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Guys, go check out Gage Aside. He probably, probably has some crazy sets that I probably wasn't ready for. But um, definitely go check out his side. And guys, if you, uh, you know, if you're a part of a draft league, any type of draft league, you know, come on down to Pokédex. Honestly, um, we'll make you a room. We'll, we even have a, a way for you can even draft on the server. And you know. You can make a dock too, but you know it's cool that you know if you can get everybody on the server at once, you can draft on the server, you can play your games on the server. It's pretty cool. Um, we also even have other extra stuff uh, coming your way. We have like little mini games that you know you get score, and like the higher you score on the score ladder, the at the end of the month you get uh, tokens, and like you know. You might think, oh well, tokens are whatever. Well, tokens do give you custom avatars, which I will show you mine actually uh, right now. But yeah, mine's right here. It's pretty cool. It's my logo, uh, custom avatar. It's pretty nice. But yeah, so guys, I hope you guys enjoy. And um, until next time, it's your boy Carnival. Goodbye.